Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. We are going to start another session, and this is the last session for this week. And we are almost ending the course. Um, after this class, we have just six more in ending in the course. I hope that you are working on the platform and you are um, now with the uh, exercise that is supposed to be in this week. Um, yesterday we were uh, talking about the superlative and comparative form of the adjectives and we were explaining what are the um, superlative and comparative form of the adverbs and, and adjectives and we had some uh, exercise or examples at the end of the class. And now we are going to uh, write the, uh, the comparative form of those uh, adjectives. Now um, we are going to talk about the questions that we can say or ask using these comparative or superlative adjectives because it is a part of the topic that we are going to develop tonight the way we ask a question using the comparative and superlative form of the adjective. So we're going to uh, see the examples that we were uh, seeing yesterday and we are going to write the correct form of the um, adjective with the comparative form. So we have this list of adjectives that uh, we were saying yesterday. We have clean, cold, slow, large, pretty, hot, big, thin, beautiful, expensive, and bad. Also, you have the list of the adjectives that are in superlative and in comparative form. Uh, you have it in the group of WhatsApp. So you have this kind of information. So for the first one, we have clean and we are going to transform this ad, uh, adjective to the uh, comparative form. So in this case, we're going to write cleaner. Then we have cold, colder. We have a slow, slower. Then we have big, that we are going to say bigger. In this case, we are not going to use the endings of the words. We are going to use most beautiful, most expensive, Then in this case, we are going to change for worse. And the exercise two is the changing of the adjective that we have in parentheses. And it says, Alan is taller than Livia. Then we have, Dajana is older than Alan. Livia is shorter than Diana. Alan is younger than Diana. In this case, it says that we can uh, change the word intelligent to make it like um, comparative or superlative, but in this case, we are going to use another word to help this uh, to be comparative. So in this case, Livia is more intelligent than Alan. Diana is more beautiful. Then we have Spain is hotter. Canada is bigger.
easier. So those are the comparative forms of these adjectives. Now we are going to uh, know how to use questions with this comparative and superlative form of this uh, adjective. So we are going to develop this part of the topic that is the comparative question. So for this, we are going to remember what are the uh, comparative adjectives and what are the superlative adjectives. So it says that a comparative adjective is an adjective which is used to compare two things. Asking comparative question encourage people to choose between the two things and express their opinions. And we have some a uh, question that you can use. So we are going to do it uh, step by step. So we have here that in this case, asking uh, comparative questions help us to choose between two things. And also we can um, give ex uh, opinions about the things that we are choosing. In the uh, question number one, we have, which is better, English or math? In this case, we're using the, uh, the word better because we are going to choose which one for us is better, English or math, and we can give an opinion why we choose that uh, answer. For example, we have the number two. Who is taller, your mom or your dad? We use the word here, taller. Then number three, who is smarter, you or your brother or sister? Number four, which is testier? Orange juice or apple juice? Teacher, what is the meaning of 
for this word, tastier. Tastier, sabroso, yeah. el que tiene más sabor. Ah, okay, okay. Then. Which is better? Chicken or fish? Teacher, I have a question. Tell me. Um, the number seven. Mm -hmm. I have a I have a dog. Fun is uh, more fun. Más divertido. Fun. Ajá. Y en español porque en inglés no puedo. That's este, okay. Se usa de las dos formas. More fun y funnier. Yes, in this case, we are going to use it like this because in this question, uh, you are asking what is more fun? ¿Cuál es el más divertido? En el caso del, del funnier, es como el que más te divierte. But in this case, we can use it more fun or funnier. Which one of those are, are good? Está bien, gracias. You're welcome. Entonces, yo puedo decir, this video game is funnier than the other one. Mm -hmm. Yes, ah, okay. but in that case, when you use uh, the word then, you are making that uh, uh, between two things. And in this case, if you are asking which one is more funnier, you are not doing like the comparison. Por eso decíamos que en la comparación es cuando ya tenemos dos cosas. Por ejemplo, digamos, tenemos a pineapple and an apple. And you, or we are going to say some uh, like this, toys, for example. I have a car and I have a ball. And I can say, ah, a play with the car is funnier than with the ball. Jugar con el carro es más divertido que con la pelota. Y si hacemos la comparación, en, en, en este caso, como estamos haciendo una pregunta, podemos utilizar el more fun to watch, porque no vamos a hacer la comparación, sino que queremos saber cuál es el más divertido para ver. And the more fun is only for question. 
Yes, in this in this case, it's just for a question. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Then we have another another question with more fun in, in the number 13. And it says, which games are more fun? Are more fun. Computer games. Or board games. So in this case, we are not making like the comparison as when we do with another uh, sentences. In this case, we are going to choose which one is uh, more fun or is better to play. So in this case, we're using the more fun for this kind of questions. And for the comparison itself, we are going to use funnier. So that's uh, very simple because we already know that funnier is for the comparison between two things. And in this case, when we are going to choose between two things and give our opinion, we are going to use more fun. And we have another one because we have uh, some example of this, but uh, before uh, continuing with these uh, uh, questions. So we know that we are making comparison because we are using that part of the adjectives that in this case are the comparative uh, form of the adjectives. We are choosing, we are going to choose between two things, two options. And also uh, we can uh, give our opinion about the two things that we are choosing. Um, estamos escogiendo, vamos a escoger entre dos cosas que nos parecen eh, mejores, eh, divertidas, eh, saludables, eh, rápidas, eh, fuertes y todo eso. So in that case, I can choose one or the other, but also I can give uh, some explanation of that. So in the first one, which is better, English or math? I can choose and I say, ah, for me, it's English. Why? Because it is more fun. And the second one, who is taller, your mom or your dad? Oh, it's my dad because he is, and we can say um, how much um, our dad uh, is taller than our mother. Then, who is smarter, you and your brother or sister? In this case, it is a, a kind of controversial question because we are going to say, oh, I am the smarter. She is not or he is not. But that's another kind of question because we can uh, give whatever uh, answer we want. Which is tastier, orange juice or apple juice? Oh, for me, it's orange juice because it is more uh, sweet. Or um, in the case of apple juice, because I don't like uh, things that are uh, with a lot of sugar. We can give that explanation at the end of the uh, chosen thing. Then, which is better, chicken or fish? We can make our um, mind and think, mm, I think it's better the chicken because I like the flavor. Fish, it, it is not my favorite uh, thing to eat. Then, which is healthier, salad or pizza? Which sport is more fun to watch, soccer or tennis? Which is more fun for me? For me, it's soccer. Or for someone else, it's tennis. Why? And we can give reasons. Which animal makes a better pet, a cat or a dog? For some people, it's a cat. For some people, it's a dog. And they have the... Uh, the uh, things they want to say about to having a cat or having a dog as a pet. Then, which is faster, a horse or a tiger? Who is older, your mom or your dad? Which is a stronger, a lion or a bear? Who is stronger? In this case, we have almost the same, the same question, but if you can see the beginning of the question in the first one, in the 11, we have which? which is a stronger, a lion or a bear? And in the 12, who is stronger? ¿Cuál es, es más fuerte? En el caso de los animales, ¿cuál es más fuerte? ¿El león o el oso? En el caso de las personas, who, ¿quién? En el caso de los animales, ¿cuál? En el caso de las personas, ¿quién? 
Then we have which games are more fun, computer games or board games? Well, so that's the difference between which and who, because one is using for animals or for uh, things and the other for people. So we have another one that it says, what is more expensive, gold or silver? More expensive. Más caro, ¿verdad? More expensive. What is most, most expensive? Gold or silver? Then we have another one. What is bigger? What is bigger, the earth or the moon? And we have, which language is more difficult? English or Chinese? More difficult. Then we have, what is more important? What is more this one? Money or happiness? In this case, we're going to say both, money and happiness. Then 18, what is more entertaining? Watching TV? or playing computer games? In the last one, does social media make the world a better or worse, worse place? <laughs> So in this case, we are using two uh, comparative adjectives, better or worse place. In this case, we are not going to make a comparison or we're uh, going to choose between two things. In this case, we are going to choose between two adjectives because we want to know if um, social media makes the word better or makes the word uh, worse. So in that case, we are using two adjectives and not two things to do the comparison. Then we have the superlative question because in this case, we're just using the comparative words to make question. In this case, we have the superlative question. And it says, a superlative adjective is an adjective used when comparing three or more things. Asking superlative questions to people is a great way to get them talking about what they know and their thoughts and opinions. In this case, we are uh, making comparison about three things or more. And in this case, also the people, uh, it's going to talk about what they know, the things that they know, or the thoughts that they have, or the opinions that they have about one of those things, or the three things in in this um, in this thing. So we're going to do it like this: a superlative.
So in this case, we can use these superlative questions to begin a discussion or some uh, topics. In this case, we're not talking like discussion, like um, saying bad things. In this case, it's to uh, uh, share information, opinions, and thoughts about uh, a specific topic. So we have some examples of these questions. We have the number one. What's the most interesting subject you study? What is the most interesting subject you study? So in this case, we are not writing the list of subjects that we want to uh, talk about. In this case, we give the, um, the freedom to choose one of the subject that this uh, person or, or these uh, uh, people is uh, want to choose. So for example, if um, I ask you someone that goes to the university, uh, what is the most interesting subject uh, they have studied, that person can think the subjects in the basic school, in the high school, or even in the university. And they have a long list of subjects that person can uh, choose. So in this case, it, uh, it has more uh, freedom to choose what we want to say. In this case, it is not something with a limit because we have a lot of subjects that we have studied before. So we have in number two, what is the most delicious food you have tried? Number three, what is the most expensive thing you have bought? So here, in this case, we are not talking about comparative. In this case, we are going to talk about superlative. And we have, again, funny, the, the adjective funny, but in this case, we are not going to use it like most funny. In this case, we are going to use it like in the superlative part. In this case, we are going to use funniest because we are going to have the top of the list. En la parte esa del superlativo no vamos a hacer como en, en, en el, um, las preguntas anteriores, sino que aquí sí vamos a utilizar la regla del superlativo para el adjetivo fan. Porque como estamos haciendo un, um, estamos en this case eh, comparando tres cosas o más y vamos a escoger la que más nos gusta. En este caso no voy a utilizar more or most para funnier para, o para fun, sino que voy a utilizar funnier porque es el tope de mi lista, es el número uno, es el que más me gusta. So in this case, we are going to use the rule for fun. So we have the, the example. Who's the funniest person in your family? Maybe we have like 20 people in our family and we are going to choose between them or among them because there are a lot of people. And we are going to choose among them who is the funniest person in the family. So in that case, we are making a comparison between a lot of people. So we are going to choose who is the funniest, the, the person that is, the funniest of all, and no one has comparison with that person. Then we have number five. What is the biggest animal on earth?
then when was the happiest moment in your life? So in this case, we have a lot of happy moments, but in, in this case, we are choosing the one that we, um, when someone uh, asks us is the number one for us. So in this case, we are making a comparison uh, between the happy moments in our life, and we're going to choose the one that is better for us or is the most memorable, um, moment that we have then we have another one what country is the best place to live
Here we have a difference. We are using the funniest um, in this question, but now we have a difference. And in this example, we are going to use must fun. Well, let me see. Um, oh, yes, in this case, I find. Thank you. The most fun to play. So we have here the examples for the superlative uh, questions. So in this case, uh, as we are saying um, at the beginning, we are going to ask for this kind of um, uh, things that we want to know. In this case, we are going to give uh, the freedom to the, the people to choose between all the options that they have. Uh, for example, that we have in this list, what is the most interesting subject you study? What is the most delicious food you have tried? In this case, the person can uh, choose what is the most delicious food that they have tried in different uh, uh, places, different restaurants, different countries. If they have uh, traveled around the world, they can uh, choose between all that kind of food that, that they have tried before. What is the most expensive thing you have bought? In this case, we have a lot of things in our houses and we can think in the one that is the most expensive. Then who is the, funny, the funniest person in your family? What is the biggest animal in the planet or in on earth? We can think in the animals and we can say, oh, it's that animal. Then we have, uh, what it, when was the happiest moment in your life? When fue el momento más feliz de tu vida? Then what country is the best place to live? Um, what is the funnier movie that you have seen? What is the, what subject are you worst at? In cual de los, um, de las materias son eh, muy malos eh, en, en esa materia, entonces van a escoger cuál es la materia en la que son malísimos. Then, what subject are you best at? En cuál son buenísimos. La primera es en cuál son malísimos. En la segunda es en cuál son muy buenos o que son los mejores. Who is the smartest person you know? What is the strange, strangest thing you have ever seen? In this case, we are talking about La cosa más extraña que hemos visto, eh, que nada lo supera. The strangest thing you have ever seen. Who is the tallest person in your family? What is the tallest or highest mountain in the world? Which language do you think will be the most difficult to learn? What is the most disgusting food you have tried? Something that you really think it is not even possible for someone to eat. That is very, very, very bad, and maybe it stinks or have a strange flavor. Uh, what is the most interesting book you have read? What is your favorite? Or that you find the more interesting among uh, the other books? Which sport is the most fun to play? In this case, it is not funnier, it is the most fun to play. And the last one. What is the best song of all times? And those are the examples for the uh, question that we can ask to people uh, when we want to know their opinion about something. We have the two parts in uh, the first one that we have the comparative. In this case, we 
have a limit of things because we are just comparing between two things. And in the superlative, we are comparing between three or more things. Así que en la parte del comparativo tenemos un límite de cosas. Solo vamos a comparar dos cosas y tenemos que escoger entre una de ellas. Y en el superlativo, pues obviamente tenemos una lista más extensa de cosas que vamos a escoger entre ellas. Now that we have the examples for the comparative and superlative um, questions, also we have a long list of things that we can use to make questions because you have the seven page uh, document in the group in which you can choose the um, adjectives that you want to use in your questions. When you are going to have a conversation with someone and you want to know some information about that person or you are going to have a practice because it is very important that we practice the language that we are learning. And in this case, you can create questions to ask for other people and to practice the pronunciation, to practice the, the production of the words or the language. Now, we have the comparative and superlative everyday conversation. We are going to have some examples of everyday conversation and uh, which um, question we can ask about uh, that kind of conversation. Para la segunda parte, ya tenemos aquí las preguntas. Para la segunda parte vamos a usar eh, conversaciones que tenemos todos los días. Son conversaciones comunes. Y vamos a ver qué tipo de preguntas podemos hacer con ese tipo de conversaciones. I will um, write some question that we can ask. Then I will read some conversations. And then we are going to write the question that we can ask based on the conversation. Vamos a escuchar una conversación o unas conversaciones porque son un par de conversaciones. Y luego vamos a ver qué preguntas podemos hacer nosotros basándonos en esas conversaciones que sean superlativas o comparativas. For the warm-up questions, we have, what is the most expensive thing you have ever bought that we have in this list? What is the most delicious dessert? That is something different. What is the most delicious dessert you have even eaten? In this case, it's talking about something sweet. Es el, es el postre. Then, what is the hottest place you ever you have ever been? ¿Cuál es el lugar más caliente en el que han estado? What is the coldest temperature you have ever experienced? ¿Cuál es la temperatura más baja, más fría que han experimentado alguna vez? Who is the most famous person you have ever seen in person? ¿Quién es la persona más famosa que ustedes han visto en persona o en vivo? Then, we have the conversation number one. And it says, mm, we have this kind of questions. What did John recently buy? What did John recently buy? What does Jennifer think about the watch? Whose watch was more expensive, John's or Jennifer's? What kind of watch did Jennifer buy? Whose watch is the most expensive watch that John had ever seen? What is killing Jennifer's eyes? Who is the guy wearing the most expensive watch that John has ever seen? What does Jennifer think about Sakamoto? Then we have the, the, the conversation. Let's hear. We have some people talking about uh, comparing things and people, and it says, that's a really nice watch, John. It looks expensive. Thanks, Jennifer. I just bought it. Yeah, it was a bit expensive, but I got a really good deal on it. Well, it was definitely more expensive than mine. My watch was really cheap. Actually, it was the cheapest one that I could find. Haha, <laughs> it looked less nice though. I like your watch. Wow, look at that guy's watch. That's the most expensive looking watch I've ever seen. It's pretty flashy, isn't it? Wow, the glare from the gold and diamonds are killing my eyes. Wait a minute, do you know who that is? That's Bob Sakamoto. He's the most famous guy in town. Really? 
You mean he's more famous than you? He's pretty handsome too. He's more handsome than you are too. I think he's the most handsome guy in town. So in this conversation, we have two people uh, talking about uh, the watch, the los relojes, and some people. And we have some, uh, some sentence that we can uh, separate from the conversation. So we have the conversation number one, that it's about comparing things and people. And we have some sentences. And this is about daily life conversation, that, that kind of conversation that we can have in every day uh, the, or activities that we are having. We are in some sentences. We are going to write some sentences. It says, they um, are talking about, about the watch that uh, John has. He, um, she says that it looked like it's very expensive. So we have the word expensive. That is the adjective that we are going to use. And it says it was a bit expensive. Then she says it was definitely definitely more expensive, more expensive, more expensive than mine. Ella le está diciendo que el reloj que él anda es más caro que el de ella. My watch was really cheap. Actually, it was the cheapest, another one. It was the, the cheapest one that I could find. So we have two sentences. In the first one is the comparative, more expensive than mine. And in the second one, it's what the cheapest, it is superlative. So we are going to see if we can find another one. It looks like, it looks nice. I like your watch. Look at that guy's watch. They find another watch. That's the most expensive looking watch I have ever seen. Another one. That is the most expensive looking watch I have ever seen. That is the most expensive looking watch I have ever seen. Ese es el reloj más caro o que luce más caro que yo he visto alguna vez. So in that, in that case, it is superlative. We are going to look for another one. It's pretty flashy, isn't it? Wow, the glare from the gold and diamonds are killing my eyes. Wait a minute, do you know who that is? That is Bob Sakamoto. He is the most famous guy in town. Another superlative. He is the most famous. guy in town. Let's see. Really? Do you mean he's more famous than you? He is more famous. This is comparative. He is more famous than you? He is pretty handsome too. He is more handsome than you are too. Another one. He is more handsome. This is comparative again. Than you. He is more handsome than you. I think he is the most handsome guy in town. Superlative. He is the most handsome guy in town. So 
So in that um, conversation, we have seven a superlative and comparative sentence using adjectives. Then we have conversation number two. And it is um, comparing things at the gym. Tell me. Sorry, sorry. Oh, that's, that's okay. Then we have people in the gym. That is another scenario that we have. Uh, it is very common to have conversations in the gym. So we are going to uh, read the conversation, then we are going to search for the comparative and superlative sentences. And I guess this is the last one because it is almost time. So. John is the first person to talk and it says, this exercise is easier than the last one. That last exercise was really tough. I can hardly walk, my legs are killing me. And Jennifer says, really? I think this exercise is harder than the last one. Maybe my legs are stronger than yours and my arms are weaker than yours. Possibly, mm, yes. Is that Tom Brady? He's the best football player in the world. I am not a big fan of American football. I prefer real football. I think it's the most exciting sport. Wait a minute, soccer? Seriously? Nobody likes soccer. Soccer is so boring. It has to be the most boring sport that there is. No way. That guy has the strongest art I've ever seen. Wow, yeah, he looks like the Hulk. He is the most muscular guy I ever seen in real life. Oh no, that guy over there has the weakest leg I ever seen. Oh my gosh, I hope he's okay. I think that's the most embarrassed I ever seen anyone in my life. Yes, I never seen anyone so red. That's the readest I ever seen anyone. And it's also the fastest I ever seen anyone run. So they are having a conversation uh, about people that are in the gym. One of them is someone very famous and is very strong because, because it has a, he has some a strong arms. And also they are talking about someone that maybe has an accident uh, doing some exercise at the gym. So we are going to find the sentences. We have, the, this exercise is easier. It's easier than the last one. This is comparative. Then we have, I think this exercise is harder. This exercise harder than the last one. Again, comparative. Number three, my legs are stronger than yours. And we have another one, my arms are weaker than yours. Then we have, he's the best football player. In the world. I prefer real football. I think it is the most exciting
is born. We're going to write it like this because they are talking about soccer. And it says, it has to be the most boring. It has to be the most boring sport that there is. In this case, we're not going to use the must. Then we have another one. That guy has the strongest arms I ever seen. But in this case, arms. He's the must. muscular guy. That guy over there has the weakest legs. That is the most So in the second one, we have a lot of sentence using the comparative and superlative uh, adjectives. We have 13 and we have this exercise easier than the last one. This exercise is harder than the last one. My legs are stronger than yours. My arms are weaker than yours. He is the best football player in the world. I prefer real football. I think it is the most exciting sport. It has to be the most boring sport that there is. That guy has the strongest arm. He is the most muscular guy. That guy over there has the weakest legs. That is the most ever said I have ever seen anyone in my life. That the readers I have ever seen anyone. And it is also the fastest I have ever seen anyone run. So this is the end of this topic, and also it is the end of this session. So uh, remember to work in the platform because it is very important that you have to mark your um, progress in that place. So you have time to do it, but remember that you we are going to have just six more sessions to end this course. So you need to uh, work in the platform in these days to be on date. So we are going to uh, um, end the session here. Have a great weekend and see you on Monday. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Have a good night. 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 Good night.